Hello fellow model collectors, welcome back to another video, it's your host Ray. Today I've got the Altaya 1 over 70 second scale uh, Sturm Panzer IV, also known as the Brumbar. Uh, this is a, excuse me, I had to burp really quick. This is a static display model that comes pre-assembled, uh, so you don't have to do any assembly to it if it doesn't arrive broken. And honestly, it's quite cheap, usually available on the internet these days. I bought this for about 20 uh, 20 US dollars including the shipping so it was 15 originally and it's quite cheap for a decently detailed tank like this and it also includes a display case which I do not have uh, on me right now. If you'd like to see a picture of the display case simply just search up Altaya Brumbar and you'll see the uh, you'll probably run into a picture of this tank in its display case. Uh, but other than that it's it's a decent tank and I'll get straight into the review. First I'll go over the front of the tank, then to the back, and I'll go over every detail that I feel like needs to be mentioned, and then I'll give you my personal opinion at the end. So uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Ah, oh, and that'd be nice if I could hit the pause button without slapping the phone. Alright, starting up at the front of the tank, you've got your spare track here. This is permanently attached to the tank itself. Um, and here you have the driver's compartment with his uh, optic so you can see through where he's going. You have a navigation light, your jack rest block, uh, and getting to the other side, you've got an axe and whatever this piece is, I'm not exactly sure what it is. And here's the glasses, the gla uh, glasses plates. Here you can see what, uh, you can see a little, I'm not sure what to call this, but where you put your hand to flip up this access hatch here. This one arrived okay, but this one completely got messed up. You can see something's wrong with it, so I'm not sure what happened with the molding. The molding quality in this model isn't exactly the best, but it's still adequate enough to the point where it's ex it's it's usually within accept acceptable levels. Uh, here is the lower glasses plate. You don't have much going on down here except for the spare track holder or whatever whatever these things are. I'm not entirely sure what they are. Moving up to the gun, here you can see a paint scratch, which is fairly common among, among these models, especially here in the gun and the gun mantlet area. Um, the gun does elevate and depress within a very limited range, and you can see down here you've got more paint scratches. So I don't want to move it uh, any more than I need to. So yeah, that's the absolute highest it will go. It'll be exact, almost parallel with this armor plate right here, but I recommend keeping it down here for best cosmetic details, I guess, or cosmetic looks, if you will. Here we have the uh, just the mantlet guard, I guess. I'm not sure what this is. Nothing too special there. Getting up to the top of the tank, I'm going to zoom out now so you guys can see this better. Getting up to the top of the tank, you have the, per where the, the place where the periscope is supposed to go. However, there is no periscope. There's just a gap here, so I might fit one on there later. You have an air vent. Uh, machine gun, like a machine gun hole, and uh, I, I, I'm not sure, two doors here, as well as the commander's hatch right here. Here's the side, by the way. You get the uh, Balkan cross and the number 46. Uh, the camouflage, I gotta say, it looks pretty cool. And here, of course, is the tracks. Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry about that. Tracks are made of rubber. They're pretty hard to break. Just This isn't a toy, so don't play with it. And the wheels do not roll. Getting towards the back of the tank, you have the ammunition loading doors, barely visible there. Uh, you have a step here, another Balkan cross, fire extinguisher, and th this one is loose, so I need to fix that. You have a what I believe is a uh, a ratchet, I'm not sure, a shovel, uh, barbed wire cutters, some hooks, a. I already forgot what this was called. I'm just going to call it a wrench. <laughs> and, of course, the little jack that's right here. And here you have your spare wheel, spare uh, wheels. These have the tendency to fall off sometimes, so make sure you get those glued on if they do fall off. And here's the back where the engine is. So have a good look there. Uh, it's not very detailed, but it still, it's still adequate. Here's the other side of the tank. That's what it looks like. And up here you have your antenna, which is extremely fragile, uh, easy to break, so be careful with that. So, um, yeah. Also, here's the bottom of the tank. This might be a bit disappointing. 
you have two screw you have two screws here and two screw holes these are where the uh display stand not well this this is where the um tank hooks screws into the display case if you will there we go the screws into the display case yeah did you guys even see yeah so that's what that looks like All right, so that's basically it for the overall statistical and cosmetic review of the tank. Now I'm going to give you my personal opinion. Overall, it's pretty cheap, and for a model like this, it's decent. Like, it's not insanely detailed or anything, but it's decent. If you like collecting uh, 1 over 70 second scale armor, this is something I'd go with. Uh, the cosmetic details, I just got to say, I really do like the camouflage pattern. It looks cool. Um... And yeah, if, this, if you're starting a 70 second scale tank collection or any sort of tank collection and you like this tank, I strongly suggest buying this. It's cheap, it's affordable, and it's decent. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, but that's it for the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me down below. Or if I missed anything, feel free to point it out and ask me. But yeah, that's it. For, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this to your friends who might find this interesting. And I'll see you guys in my next video.